Hi there, and welcome to our video of the excursions we did in Antarctica with Aurora Expeditions. We were lucky to spend four days exploring the magical continent of Antarctica, and although we only saw the tip of the iceberg of Antarctica, haha, <laughs> see what I did there, it would be fair to say that Antarctica is the most incredible place I've been to on the planet. During a trip to Antarctica, you'll typically have the chance to do both zodiac adventures and shore landings. And one of the first places we visited in the zodiacs was a Norwegian oil factory ship that had run aground due to a fire on board in 1915. Right from the get-go, a visit to Antarctica is all about the wildlife and on that first Zodiac ride we came across this little guy who, um, shall we say, had a thing for wet leather. Mm, yeah, that's probably the politest way I can think to say it. This behaviour was really unusual and even the expedition guides had never seen anything like it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel as there's much more to come. Aurora was a wonderful company to cruise with as they give you the thick outer jackets and it's yours to keep at the end of the cruise and they also let you borrow waterproof boots for the entire duration of your cruise. Stepping on land on the continent of Antarctica is a mind-blowing experience as you get to wander places that very few humans have the opportunity to come to and it feels really like no one else has ever been there before. The scenery around you is so serene, so stark and so absolutely beautiful, it truly felt like a privilege to be there. The silence is mesmerising until you do a beach landing where there are penguins and then the noise and the smell is quite overwhelming to say the least.
at this point we should really give a shout out to the Aurora Expeditions on how professional their expedition staff and all the crew were. Their safety and environmental protection was second to none. During shore landings, we would have the opportunity to walk on pebbly beaches, up snow-covered hills for amazing vistas, or if you so desired, to just sit on a rocky outcrop and appreciate your surroundings. Believe me when I say at this moment, be very thankful that smelling television is not a thing yet. Aurora Expeditions offers guests the chance to sign up for extra activities like sea kayaking and snorkeling. Yes, they do both of those in Antarctica. It's crazy. Aurora Expeditions also offers guests the chance to do the famous polar plunge. Uh, yes, I did do it, and yes, I did think I was going to die, but in fact, I survived. It was an amazing experience.
we found the Zodiac excursions really enjoyable as you can just rug up and enjoy the ride. You have the chance to see a lot of wildlife up close and personal. We saw penguins swimming, seals lazing around on icebergs and even a whale from far closer than I was comfortable with. Yes, keep watching. We also saw a dazzling array of icebergs of different sizes and shapes. Shades of pristine white to deep electric blue when we ventured through the bay known as the Iceberg Graveyard. This experience of crunching over the ice in the Zodiac is one of the most magical experiences of my life. On our way to another landing, we dropped our postcards to home at the Port Lockroy Research Base, otherwise known as the Penguin Post Office, the most remote post office on the planet. You'll be happy to know that our postcards did arrive home to our daughters about two months after we returned home, but they did make it and clearly postmarked from Antarctica, which is incredibly rare. We also visited fascinating Des Moy Hut, located in picturesque Dorian Bay. The hut was used by the British as a transit station for people going out to the larger research bases in Antarctica. And it was so interesting to see how people live down here. I'm really not sure I could do it. Oh, add in the freezing cold weather, I'm definitely sure I couldn't do it.
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe as there's much more to come.